Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is just a very quick tip. Uh, Y'all know I love showing things that, you know, you have around the house and what you can do with them. So let me just show you this very quickly. This is a deodorant lid to um, my husband's deodorant. Now this can be your cooking spray lid. It could be whatever. And you guys know, um, I want to show you this. I don't know if you saw this video where I made the homemade texture paste with baking soda. I'll link it at the end of this video. Oh, it's dried and it's just, oh, it's so nice. So nice. Oh, love it. Anyway, go check it out. But, uh, so I have this, y'all know, I love, I love at home stuff. So, you know, I've shown you so many times, oh, you know, you take something that's circle, it could be a lid to your glue or whatever you have, and then you can make circles. Well, what else you can make is take it, because I have a million of these, take your scissors and cut square out of it. Take a minute. And you don't have to cut it all, but you just give it a bend. And then get on that thin part and then cut it out. And then, doesn't matter if that's even or not, but what you do is then you have a whole other shape. I know, it seems silly, right? But then it gives you an opening. So you can, I know this is hard to see because this ink pad is dry. Let's see if I can get So you can have some that do the full circle. You can have some that do see it only goes that far. So you can make all kinds of different shapes and and all kinds of backgrounds for your ATC cards or your art journal or whatever. Um, and if you don't have a lot of money or you don't have a lot of supplies at home, you just do something as simple as that and you have, you know, a great little uh, extra little thing. So if you do, I, I call it texture. I don't know what, it's not like texture that you feel, but it's, you know, texture. <laughs> How do you explain it? That it looks texture, you know, gives you, gives you something else. So if I, let's say I do this, maybe this will be easier to see. And then I just kind of go get this in there. See, you just get different. You can use paint. You can use your, you know, your ink pads. You can use whatever you want. And you just go around and you just make these great, you know, I love the grunge look. It's one of my favorite things. So you definitely can do that. And then. Yeah, you can use that and then you can even use your, let's say your glue lid, which I've used a million times. And you can go in and make different sizes. I don't know. I think it's fun. I think it's something that, you know, it just gives you extra things to play with and extra things to add texture, extra things where you feel like, you know, you don't, you don't feel like, oh, I don't have a lot of supplies. Look around your house for a million different lids, cut them in different shapes, sizes, what have you. Uh, you can even use this part. Look, I am cheap as they come. No lie. And you can use it and get different shapes as well. So you'll see me use those. Just think outside the box. I get asked all the time, different things to use. And like I said, I, there's so many things around your house that you can use that you don't have to spend a fortune on. So I hope that you guys try this out. Uh, as always, please be kind to each other. You'll never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.